Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Things ain't the same I felt That we lost a way, the street is two ways and girl And everybody keeping to themselves as we leave Sweetwater Summit, I reflect on how we got here. It was such a rush to get to the beach that we didn't stay in one place longer than a night. We got to the beach and then all of a sudden it was like a blink of an eye and we moved on to Sweetwater. And we really slowed down here and I was really grateful for that. We got to enjoy the hiking trails. We got to enjoy getting our bikes out and riding the paths. Uh, my favorite view is this one that I'm sketching right here. We did this hike a few times um, and the kids even took my husband right before we left uh, to show him this awesome view because they loved it just as much as I did. And that is the beauty of a sketchbook. I absolutely love the fact that I am taking the time, I am sitting here, I am sketching this view. I am really present in the moment of being on the hikes and seeing the views with my family, but then I get to reflect back on how awesome it was and really concentrate on all the different textures and the colors. And I think that's, again, the beauty of a sketchbook too, is uh, you almost embed that moment into your brain just a little bit harder because you are reliving it again not only possibly in your journal, but also in your sketchbook. About the sketch, I had already sketched that little pen and ink sketch up at the top before we left, and then when we got to our boondocking spot, I went ahead and painted this. I also painted our boondocking spot. It was nothing special. I went ahead and documented that as well. We are moving on to a full hookup site. I need to do laundry. My husband needs pretty good internet access for some video calls that he has. And so that is where we're going next. I wanted to show you where we stayed last night. We boondocked, which means we come out to a land that is open for boondocking. Uh, you can find them on different apps, but I wanted to show you what our view was because it was nothing special, <laughs> but it worked for the night. And then tonight we're going into a um, full hookup slot to do laundry and things like that. So I wanted to show you, so I'm gonna turn you around. This <laughs> was our view. It's kind of foggy today. There are mountains out there in the distance. The sunset was pretty epic, but but this is what we had. Played a lot of passing, like with the soccer ball and stuff like that, but um, some things are not always pretty, and that's okay. I just wanted to share with you what it looks like. Shadows of the morning are crawling on my floor. When I just want to lie here, nothing less, nothing more. There's raindrops on my window, and I'm going nowhere fast. Behind these closed eyes, I visualize what will come and what is past. But Mama, turn the light on. Mama, stir me from my sleep. I've been sleeping too long I've been dreaming too long I just want to lie here But I don't want to die here. We left California and moved into Arizona. This place that we boondocked is in Quartzsite. And we have boondocked here on the last trip and enjoyed it so much. You are surrounded by mountains and great sunsets and 
probably sunrises if you're awake at that time, <laughs> but I'm not. And so I say goodbye to the shadows as morning breaks the noon. The reason I enjoy the sunset so much is because it bounces off the mountains and it creates these awesome colors. Uh, in Arizona and most desert type places, you don't have very much color, maybe unless in summer, but I've only been to the desert in winter. <laughs> so you see a lot of grays and browns and blues. But when the sun sets in this place, the sun bounces off the mountains and it creates this pink on the mountains and then it creates a, like a pink haze over everything. So you get really good photos and things like that. Now, of course, I was too busy painting to film all that, but if you're ever in Quartzsite or Arizona for that matter, check out the sunsets. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, I'll see ya.